first speaker, according to the lots drawn earlier on, and they were drawn individually for each of our four sections today, is our Labor candidate, Susan Templeman. Well, I didn't win the last election, and even though I didn't, some of the things I hoped to achieve for the electorate were achieved. So we managed to, because we budgeted for it, everything was costed, everything was in the budget, we were able to deliver the $9.5 million for the Springwood Civic Centre upgrade. That was an issue that had divided the community and it needed the federal government and it needed Labor to be able to step in and say, here's the right thing to do, to give a community a facility that it deserves. That fence is about to go up this week and the work is about to start. So I've already helped to achieve something and, and that's the sort of practical thing I'd like to see in the Blue Mountains. We also achieved, thanks to a 2010 election promise that was honoured because it had been budgeted and costed, a $2.56 million upgrade for Glenbrook National Park. Now this is the entrance to the Blue Mountains and it's the area where it's one of the most used parks in the Blue Mountains side of the electorate. So it's great to see that again the work is underway. So some of my vision has already been achieved. There's a grandstand in Windsor for the Windsor Wolves, part of the electorate, a grandstand that's a fantastic community facility whose construction is almost complete. So there's some of the things I've already achieved. It's kind of nice being a loser and already having achieved a few things. I also think there's a lot we need to do in the mountains um, around uh, supporting businesses. Small business is the backbone of the Blue Mountains. I'm one of them. I'm one of many professionals who chooses to live here and works from home. The NBN is going to transform the Blue Mountains and the Hawkesbury as a base for small business. It's already happening in the Hawkesbury and it, we have fantastic creative minds in the Blue Mountains and they're going to seize it as they're going to in the Hawkesbury. Tourism is a key driver for business up here and one of my visions is that fewer people need to leave the mountains to go to work. The NBN will help do that, but tourism also helps do that. One thing is to get tourists to come here and one of my visions is to finish the Great Western Highway and guess what, the $300 million that is helping to do that is federal labour money and that will happen in the next term. It's just a matter of the work being done, the money's already there. Once we get people here, get our visitors here, we need to keep them here. And, and it's already, there's been close to a million dollars invested directly in tourism in the Blue Mountains under the last Labor term of government. The most recent announcements were $93,000 for Scenic World for their sculpture, and I'm sure some of you have visited their, their sculpture at Scenic World, an annual event. It combines the two things we love, well, the three things we love, the arts, tourism, and the environment. We've also uh, allocated, and, and the Carrington Hotel was successful in applying for a grant of a quarter of a million dollars to build a restaurant and function centre. It'll be the first seven day a week uh, open lake type of function centre and restaurant in Katoomba, and that will go with their brewery brewery concept. Now that's a sort of really practical thing that federal labour's done. Plus there's the half a million dollars for the Great Western uh, Trail which is going to be a walking path from Lura to Blackheath. So the half a million dollars has already gone to council for the first stage. They're the kinds of things we need in the mountains, things that protect environment but promote tourism. Education is the other key, and we will, under Labor, have better funded schools. We've already got 190,000 more kids going to university because of the lifting of the cap. So for mountains kids, education and university are well within their reach. The other area for the mountains is the arts. Labor is the only one that will support the arts. I'll leave you with this thought, the shadow arts spokesperson said there's going to have to be cuts to arts funding under the Liberals, but he says the cuts won't be noticeable. Well, let me tell you, the arts fills every single cut it ever faces because it operates on a shoestring, and in this part of the world we need to be supporting the arts, and that would be part of my vision. Thank you, Susan. Our second speaker in this section, and strangely enough, they happen to have drawn exactly the same order in this section as they did in the first, is uh, the Liberal candidate, uh, Louise Marcus, who's going to answer the question, if you are elected, what do you hope to achieve for the Macquarie electorate? Louise. Yeah, can I firstly say that the coalition is absolutely 100% committed to the NBN 
and can I say that we will deliver it faster, more effectively and at a lower cost to everyday Australians and also to the Australian taxpayer. In fact, it's estimated that for the household it will cost about $300 less under us. Uh, can I also support uh, some of uh, my, uh, if I, uh, if I can, may call Susan, um, the, uh, my opponent here, uh, can I support the comments for the arts? I certainly will be fighting hard to ensure that we get our fair share here for the arts. I um, know the Shadow Minister very well and I have to say I will be fighting to secure funding wherever possible, particularly given that we have a new theatre company in Katoomba and they want to ensure that we establish something not just for Katoomba but also for the Blue Mountains and a platform for the next generation of uh, not just theatre goers but um, actors to actually develop their skill and their craft. Small business is critical, as has already been mentioned, but particularly in small communities and small villages up and down the mountains. Uh, this is the employer, particularly of our young people, of, uh, of single parents and so on that want to work part-time, and tourism is critical to that. And what we need to do is restore confidence. And as a government, we have a responsibility to lift as many burdens as we can of small business so they can continue to grow their business. And what I would like to see is some of the visions and the dreams that small business are holding on to for them to have the confidence in the government and in the economy so that they can start to step those visions and dreams out. I'm committed to the next generation. Many of you or some of you would know that I have been running a youth leadership forum for some years now for Year 11 students to invest in them. But one of the things that we've announced recently is a Green Army project uh, around 15 across the whole of the Greater Western Sydney region, including the Blue Mountains and the Hawkesbury. And that was within the context of an announcement for the Greater Western Sydney Conservation Corridor, which incorporates part of the seat of Macquarie. This has been something I've been fighting for for nearly seven years. And I'm hoping that if we, as we step into government, if people give us the opportunity to govern, that this will be delivered. It will be $15 million and it's critical. This is the last opportunity for us to be able to save Cumberland Plain Woodland. And some of that is in the, in the electorate, but more than that, it'll offer young people an opportunity for traineeship, they'll, have pay, they'll be paid for their traineeship, and they'll have an opportunity to step into employment. And uh, what is really important is tourism. Uh, it's already been mentioned. I made an announcement with the Shadow Minister for Tourism who's been visited during the week for the third time in the last year, Bob Baldwin. We announced 255000 for Blue Mountains, Lithgow and Oberon Tourism. That's for them to develop product, uh, for them to be able to take uh, tourism uh, to the world. I mean, we are an iconic location here for tourism. It's critical that we target uh, international tourists and ensure that they come... Uh, to, to this part of Australia, not just to visit for a day, but to actually stay overnight. Thank you, Louise. Our third speaker in this section to answer the question, if you're elected, what do you hope to achieve for the Macquarie electorate, is the Greens candidate, Daniel Wheeler. Daniel. Thanks, Peter. Look, I want to see the Blue Mountains and the Hawkesbury really thrive, not just survive, not just eke out an existence, but really thrive. These are incredibly unique areas. We've been very, very lucky in maintaining um, our, our own identity in the towns up and down the mountains and down into the Hawkesbury, so that you can go to different towns and have a different experience in each one of them. And I'd like to see the federal, state and local levels of government all work well in keeping that uniqueness going in each of those areas. Both the Hawkesbury and the Blue Mountains are poised to really take advantage of, of a new wave of tourism and that's of people who stay close to home. With the dollar falling, with petrol prices increasing, people are more and more trying to, trying to get their leisure and their entertainment close to where they live. And with the, the huge um, growth in northwestern Sydney, Macquarie is really, really well placed to take advantage of that. So tourism and its associated service industry is incredibly important to the economies um, um, of both the Blue Mountains and the Hawkesbury. 
we need to strengthen our protection of heritage. We need to strengthen funding of the arts so that, those, so that people that work in those industries are secure. Because for, for far too long, people in, in industries like the arts and, and other cultural sectors have spent their time trying to attract funding to keep themselves, rather than being able to pour their energy and their passion into showcasing what they do really well. We urgently need to protect agriculture. We know that this century will be the century of food and water security. The Blue Mountains is pivotal to the food security provided by both sides of the mountain ranges, so the Hawkesbury area and the area over the other side of the ranges. This is the recharge area. This is the place that cleans, the cleans, collects and sends the water down the hill so that farmers can use it. If we don't get this right now, we are going to lose out big time. There is nobody else who is going to feed the city of Sydney if we don't get that food from close to the, to the area where it's consumed. The Blue Mountains has some fantastic niche markets and they need to be fostered and they need to grow. And our small business um, package looks at, looks at those and looks at how we can support business. And I'll talk about that um, when, we move, when we get to that space. We do, we do have a, uh, a big push for renewable energy. So 90% renewable energy by 2030. And areas like the Blue Mountains can provide really, really good small niche industries to help us transition to a much more environmentally sound future. In order to keep the Blue Mountains thriving though, we need good planning and we need some legislation that protects our national parks from extractive industry like coal seam gas and from really poor planning decisions. The Greens fully support Labor's version of the NBN. We don't believe that a two-tiered system with some people on, on uh, fibre optics and some people uh, on, um, on copper is going to work for anybody. And we want to see more federal funding for transport and public transport with bicycle friendly options. And we need to get freight off the Great Western Highway because you don't want to sit behind trucks and neither do the tourists who come and spend their money here. Thank you. Thank you, Danielle.